Hey everybody, this is Jason Creel and you're watching the Lawn Care Life. Well, I've got an exciting new product that I'm demonstrating today and I'm going to show you uh, in my own lawn. We're going to get out and spray some weeds and we're going to see how well it works. Some of you that deal with warm season grasses already have been using Celsius for a while and today we're going to try Celsius Extra. So let me show you the product. I'm going to talk to you about it. And of course we want to know does it work or not. So we're going to get out and spray some weeds, check on the results and be able to show you on this video uh, how well the product is controlling the weeds. So let's get started right now. Here's the product, Celsius Extra. And like I said, many of you probably have used Celsius if you're dealing with warm season grass, especially if you're in the weed control fertilization business. And this one came with a measuring cap, which is great. And it also came with the, the uh, measuring spoon, which I per personally like. And you'll see on the spoon here, if I turn it the right way for you, uh, 0.17 ounces is is a scoop so that's the low rate on the label and per for spot treating that that's the low rate and the high rate is 0.23 ounces if i'm mixing in a two gallon sprayer like you see here i'll put that uh, the high rate per gallon of water so in this two gallon uh, sprayer i'm going to put 0.46 ounces i'm thinking a thousand square feet is a gallon of water and i'm going to put uh, I've got two gallons here, so I'm going to go with 0.46. So it's 0.23 is high rate times 2, 0.46. Now, if you know you spray heavy, you might want to go with a low rate. But I, I like to mix it at the high rate typically, and then I'll spray lightly. So I'm just uh, trying to get the, the, the leaves wet. Like I say all the time, you're not trying to drown the weeds. You just want to let the herbicide do the... Um, do the work so the uh, and then of course we're going to add some surfactant two teaspoons per gallon of water so i'm going to get this mixed up and one of the reasons i like celsius and i'm talking about regular celsius the one i've been using for years is that it's one that you can use as, as the temperatures get warmer it has seems to have a little effect of damaging the grass i can use it on bermuda grass zoysia grass centipede grass saint augustine grass it has some effective on sedges some effectiveness on grassy weeds good on broadleaf weeds uh, but the, the knock on it, plus a lot of chemicals, honestly, is that oftentimes you got to go back and you got to mix a sedge product with it. Like I said, uh, Celsius, I believe, regular Celsius, has um, Kalinga on the label. And so it'll have some effectiveness on that. But oftentimes I find myself, and you see me on this channel, mixing it with a, a sedge product like Certainty or like um, Sedge Hammer or Pro Sedge or something like that. So that when I'm walking over the yard, if I... If I see a broadleaf weed, boom, I can get it. But I don't have to, and now I see a patch of nut sedge, I don't have to go back to the truck and get another sprayer to come back and spray the nut sedge. I've got the sedge product and the broadleaf product there mixed together. And it's worth the convenience of that and me not having to walk the yard twice. So what's great about Celsius Extra is that they have put the sedge product in there with you already. So it's the same active ingredients you'll find in Pro Sedge or Sedge Hammer mixed with the celsius ingredients already so now you're getting your you're getting some control in the kalingas you're getting control in the purple nut sedge yellow nut sedge plus the broad leaf weeds plus again celsius is also has some effectiveness on grassy weeds we use it on carpet grass has some effect on dove weed things like that so there's some tough weeds even dallas grass has some effectiveness on um, crab grass has some effectiveness on so you're getting a really broad range uh, with the added sage product already mixed in so I don't have to mix two products. So anyways, that's exciting. So what we need to do in this video is, is spray a variety of different weeds, including some of the sedges, uh, and just see how well it does. So I'm gonna spray some nut sedge, I'm gonna spray some Kalinga, and we're gonna spray some other weeds too. And we'll check on them and see how well it works. A Bayer rep sent me this bottle of Celsius Extra, so I'm uh, looking forward to trying it out. I appreciate that and what's even cooler now i don't know I, I like the product he sent me a big sun hat you know guys i wear these big floppy hats so i have uh the only celsius extra sun hat that i know of i'm sure other people have them but that's the only one i've seen around i don't have it on but i'm gonna try it out later so anyway let's get to spraying the weeds i'm gonna get this mixed up and of course we'll check on the results and we'll be able to make some sort of judgment call on celsius extra at the end of this video if you have used it i would love to hear from you um, in your in the comments below on, on your results that you've seen so far i've got four different groupings of weeds uh, marked with a flag i've got the chemical mixed up in the tank celsius extra i've got the surfactant wear my ppe gloves glasses i got rubber boots long sleeve shirt pants yeah I'm, I'm ready to go so let's spray some weeds and the ones i'm really interested in is the the nutsedge and the kalinga because let's say I, I know 
what Celsius does as a product, regular Celsius, to broadleaf weeds and even to some extent grassy weeds. Um, but I want to see how much improvement we get on the nut sedge and the Kalinga. So we're going to do those first. Then I got a patch of uh, broadleaf weeds in one section, and then I've got a, a big section of, of spurge that's a summer weed that's very common. So those are the weeds we're going to spray. Let's get started. All right, first up is our Kalinga. And I'm not sure if this, what kind of Kalinga this is. The one I think we get most in my area is false green Kalinga. They that's what I've been told. Uh, and Kalinga typically grows in more bunches, like you see here, as opposed to nut sedge, which may have just a few leaves popping up. And typically it'll have a, a spiky ball that comes up earlier on the life cycle than uh, the nut sedge does. But anyway, this is Kalinga. Got to mark my flag here. And we're going to spray it, we're going to keep an eye on it. Alright, you can see the difference here. This is nut sedge, and this is where my water line was run through the yard. And so you can see where it's kind of compromised the thickness of the Bermuda, plus it may be a little bit of a low spot that holds water. And nut sedge is going to take advantage of that. And it looks like I'm, I've got a nut sedge farm here. I'm just growing it to, to sell it, which I'm not. And there's purple nut sedge and yellow nut sedge. I've talked about those in other videos. Typically the purple nut sedge is going to be a darker green color leaf where the, uh, the yellow is going to be a lighter green, not yellow, but lighter green. Yellow nut sedge typically also grows more upright and has a, a sharper point on the end of it where the purple is typically going to grow a little bit flatter and have a duller point on it. Based on those observations, I believe this is purple nut sedge. I'm not 100% sure but uh, that is my best guess. Either way, it should take care of it, so let's spray it and let's see what happens. Now, nut sedge it may take multiple applications. I'm not expecting some total kill here. What I'm hoping for, even on the Kalinga, is that it's gonna just suppress it and, and beat it up really bad, and then if you, have, you get your turf grass to fill in, it won't be very noticeable in the lawn. Plenty of nut sedge in this area that I did not spray, so we'll be able to compare what's been sprayed with what hasn't been sprayed. As I was walking along, I saw a kind of a good example of, of yellow versus purple. So I believe this is the yellow here. See how much taller it is? Um, it's been mowed recently, but you can see even the point on that is very sharp at the end of the plant. So it, it's growing uh, much more upright versus the purple it is a little flatter, darker leaf blade and a little duller point. So like I said purple right here, yellow over here, side by side uh, in the same lawn. Okay, I just tried to find a bare area that had some broadleaf weeds. Looks like cud weed and uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's dog fennel maybe. I'm not, I, I may be getting it wrong. You guys correct me. But just some random broadleaf weeds in this area. So I want to spray that just to show you the effectiveness on broadleaf weeds. Lastly, we've got spurge here. It's a low-lying broadleaf weed you'll see oftentimes in summer, and there's actually a little bit of nut sedge mixed in here with it. So we're going to spray this, and I can compare it with some that has not been sprayed also so we can see the results. Some of you that have been following the channel know that I've been uh, working on my yard for several years now. This is the back. Still trying to get some of these bare spots to fill in. The Bermuda is spreading, but overall it's looking pretty good. It's not quite where I want it to be yet. The front yard is looking good and I'm working on immediately behind the house. So I got four acres and just plug sod. And you can see, let me give you a little closer look. You can see where these bare spots are filling in with the Bermuda spreading. And you know, I, I really feel like in a few months, uh, most of these bare areas are gonna be filled in. But we're just keep working on it and some of the bare spots are good for finding weeds. So we're gonna check back on the weeds that I sprayed and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're about 10 days after the application. Let's check on the four sets of weeds and see what's going on. First, we're gonna look at the nut sedge and we we'll show you the nut sedge that has not been sprayed. See how it's growing nice and healthy, unfortunately. And the nut sedge that we have sprayed. Now I need to cut the grass. You see that one's tall, but it's yellow. I believe when I cut the grass, it's gonna 
uh, stopped growing for a while. And you can see how it's, some of these are, are down in here and they're just kind of the same height as the grass, basically. So I, I think we're suppressing the growth and turning it yellow. That's what we're going for. I, I don't expect it to wither up and die. Now that, that serious brown action that you see on some of them, that would be awesome, but I'm definitely showing some effectiveness. All right, let's check in on the Kalinga. You see this one that's not been sprayed. Compare that with the one that has been sprayed. I feel like not as noticeable on the Kalinga, but you know, you can definitely see some discoloration. It does look like suppressed the growth to some degree, but not uh, quite as good a result, I would say, as on the nuts edge. But it may, be, it may be a situation where it just takes a little bit more time. Again, comparing it with one that hasn't been sprayed, taller, greener, obviously. So it's definitely working, suppressing the growth. And we're gonna give this, uh, this there's gonna be one final checkup on this video, so we'll give it a little bit more time and see what the results look like. All right, here's the untreated spurge. Let's take a look at what's been sprayed. Wow, so you can see that the absolute most dramatic results we've gotten so far is on this, since so very good results on the spurge. Now let's check our final weed. I guess we'll check on this one more time, but it's already dead, so I think it's hard to get more dead than dead. So let's uh, check on the final uh, group of weeds and then we'll check one more time back on these weeds before we wrap up the video. The final grouping of weeds here. See the, I believe it's cud weed. Get some decent results. As I said, those these uh, weeds can be slow to die. So cud weed, I don't expect it to wither up and die overnight. Well, now that I look at it, you see some of these other broadleaf weeds. Didn't actually notice those, but those are actually very good results on those. So. I honestly don't remember what weed that was. No weed sorted it out, but whatever weed this was, it zapped it pretty good. All right, we'll check back one more time. All right, we're gonna give the final checkup today. It's been about two weeks since the initial application. We could probably give a little more time, but I think we could see mostly what we need to see at this point in time. So the first weed we're gonna check on is the nut sedge. This grass was cut about maybe four days ago. And this is some of the untreated nut sedge, and you can see how it's popping up over the Bermuda grass. Looking all nasty like nut sedge does. And the part that's been treated, I'm trying to show you this level so you can see that it's, the idea here is it's not really growing vertically very much. You see some of them show more damage than others, like that one, how brown it looks. Some of these are really got good control. So. With sedges, you know, it, it's kind of a battle sometimes. Um, it, this has stopped growing. If this Bermuda grass fills in, this was kind of a bare spot, which probably made it very susceptible to sedges in the first place. With the sedges, if you can suppress the growth, then that's a great job in my opinion. Second application would obviously make it better. But again, if you, you see when the Bermuda grass fills in this little bare spot, which should happen soon, then the sedges are gonna not be noticeable as much as, as long as you stop them from growing. So I would say pretty good results. This is the extra part of the Celsius extra because Celsius alone would not have gotten these results on the sedge. Uh, but when you add a sedge product in there with it, then this is the benefit of not having to, to mix the sedge products already mixed in there for you. Moving on to the next week. So there is some untreated Kalinga again sticking up higher than the turf grass. And the one that's been treated is uh, showing some discoloration and obviously slowing it down from growing. So similar results, I would say slightly better results on the actual nut sedge than this Kalinga, uh, which is a type of sedge. But uh, pretty good results, I would say. Now whether this will continue to, to deteriorate over time, I'm not sure. Whether it would take a sample application, I'm not sure. There's other products that you use on Kalinga, like the Dismiss products will give you a, a burn down on your Kalinga. If you got a, a ton of it, that might be a, a product to use, like Dismiss or Dismiss NXT, things like that. Now those products, um, you gotta be a little careful when it gets hot weather. I prefer to use those early in the year for yards. Really got a lot of Kalinga, but just wanna show you the results we got with Celsius Extra. All right, we sprayed some random broadleaf weeds. Let's check on the results of those. 
mudweed here. It, some of it's still a little bit green. You see that one there. I would call that pretty good results. Some of these weeds, again, I don't remember what they were even, what weeds they were. I had to look back to the video, but like, look at the results we got on that one. I would say pretty effective. That one, those did, that one did. And there are just some black spots of dust on the on the map here. So whatever, uh, I have to look back at the video. Whatever broadleaf weeds these were, it completely demolished. Of course, you can see there's a big old tall piece of Bermuda grass. It's just random strand over here in a shady spot. And uh, it's unaffected by the application. So knocking out these broadleaf weeds really well. Let's go check on the last weed and that was the spurge. Right, one more look at the untreated spurge and then we'll go and check out the one that's been sprayed. To be honest, I had to kind of look for it to find the results. I think this is our best uh, application. As you can see here, it's just a, some black stuff here and that's where the spurge was. I can see a few leaves down in here. If you can see a couple leaves that was uh, where the spurge used to be and you see also there was a little bit of nut sedge popping up in there so there's some nut sedge there's some nut sedge so it really did a great job on that but honestly if you look at this like this spurge in here all i can see is the black leaves wilted up so i mean just completely obliterated the spurge i would say uh 100 control and excellent results on that and again, it, it was kind of neat to see that the nut sedge was right here with the spurge and it knocked it out at the same time. And I'm not saying that nut sedge is dead and it's never going to come back, but very good results on our control for that. And I think that is kind of the best summary of what we're going for. We're looking for a product that's going to knock out broadleaf weeds. We're also going to control our sedges and even have some effectiveness on the grassy weeds. So anyway, just wanted you to see for yourself the Celsius Extra. Appreciate Bayer uh, sending me a bottle of this to test out and I uh, think it's best just to go ahead and spray it on the lawn, different kind of weeds and show you results. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. I just recently hit 100,000 subscribers. If you want to get into weed control and fertilization like me or, or mowing or, or mosquito spraying, you can go to lawncarelife.com. There's a lot of resources available for you there. Or you may just want to watch some more videos. They're popping up on the screen for you now. We'll see you in the next video.